and welcome back to the G Suite Show, where we love puns, but of course, sharing useful tips for all you users out there. Today, we wanna to switch gears and focus on how we evaluate vendors and their ratings. Just like on our team, we work with a host of different suppliers, everything from talent agencies to equipment rentals and graphic designers. But we wanna do more than track numbers. We can compare and evaluate our suppliers using Google Sheets as well. You know how in elementary school you were uh, evaluated based on the number of gold stars you got to let you know how awesome you were? <laughs> <laughs> Drea, I give you a five star rating for being a G Suite host. Aw, thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so today we're going to revisit the transformation gallery again, but this time we're going to learn how to manage supplier scorecards using Google Sheets. <laughs> As we've discussed in previous episodes, the Transformation Gallery is your one-stop shop for hundreds of ideas on how to transform your business processes and tasks using the G Suite Toolbox. This time, we'll search for Scorecard. Using this card, I'll put together a Scorecard spreadsheet that captures the evaluation criteria of each supplier we're looking to use for a specific project. In the first column, rows 8 through 11, we'll evaluate four different categories or anything you'll need to evaluate. This can be tailored to specific needs of the project. That's right. An agency putting together branding for a new product has different metrics than a talent agency. I'll add an explanation for each metric and create a scoring system of my own design. Maybe points, maybe grades, whatever works best. For this example, let's go with a weighting system. Grades give me high school chemistry nightmares. Finally, I'll click share to share the sheet with each of the project stakeholders or evaluators so they can fill in their own scores. Once they've scored our suppliers, I'll compare results in a summary tab. Looks like supplier B wins. Let's get started on this project. And now that we've gotten that info, we can quickly get to our winning suppliers. So let's say there's an internal project that we're working on and we need the job done fast and on a budget. Maybe there's a newer vendor we can work with at a more friendlier price. <laughs> We we'll have to start somewhere. That's true. Did I tell you I'm starting a talent agency for dogs? Ooh, tell more. It's called Round of a Pause. Uh, another one of those puns. You know, I don't know if we'll actually need that though. Really? I heard that we're gonna replace Jimmy with a Shih Tzu. Hmm. Anyway, this is a great place to keep all the information related to the supplier linkable in the sheet. Everything from quotes or even terms of services. On the evaluation sheet, I'll create a separate tab for these forms. I'll add in the quote, which we have back from the winning supplier, date it was approved, and color code so I know which items we still need from them. That way, when a doc is approved or changed, it's done in real time and we can keep all the corresponding items to this project in one place. I'll go ahead and assign Lily to the request for information doc as she's been working on this with a supplier on that specific item. No worries. I've got it right here, even though we're in the process of finalizing. I'll link the text and boom, done. Thanks to the transformation gallery, it's easy to find ideas like using sheets to create scorecards to help track and compare individual suppliers. And it's just as easy to share these results with an operations team or other similar production teams that are looking for the same services. Ooh, my first client. Ooh. Looks like the Shih Tzu's already booked. Well, looks like you're still hosting with us, Jimmy. Till next time. See ya. Hey there, want your valuable data to be both secure and easily accessible? Check out last week's episode on Google Vault.